five, four, three, two, one. Hello, my name is Igor, and in this short video presentation we will talk about dynamic form layout accomplished as a result of changing the positioning of fields on screen by means of proc code. We will also examine sample proc code used to achieve this, and maybe it will trigger some inspiration about how you could use similar approaches to achieve dynamic behavior in your applications. Dynamic field positioning was introduced in Uniface version 9 based on customer ideas and wishes. Up until introducing this behavior, it was not possible to change field positions on screen, let alone moving a field outside of its entity borders. As of version 9, however, it is possible for a field to be moved around the form at will, change its size, even position it on top of another field. While the connection between the field and its entity is always preserved in the background, its visual representation on screen is detached, therefore allowing for it to move around the screen. This can also be used to utilize screen space which was previously exclusively reserved for hidden entities and fields, painted only for accessing their values or for referential integrity purposes. All of this was made possible by decoupling the actual field from its representation and by introducing a new proc function, dollar painted field properties, which usage we will cover in the sample form. And now, Let's see an example of how dynamic field positioning can be achieved. Let's look at the following form. In this form we will manipulate the position of the edit box painted here on top, called edit move, and for that we will use the command buttons painted here below. Each of these buttons in its detail trigger uses the dollar painted field properties function to return or set one or more of the field properties as they relate to its position on the screen. The left, right, up and down button move the field one character in the direction which the button reads. The get and set xy position manipulate the absolute positioning of the field on the screen, where 0, 0 represents the top left corner of the form. Set size will set the size of the field to a specified value, while increase and decrease will change its size by one character. The Z order specifies whether the field will appear above or below when it happens to overlap with another field when it's being moved. Now let's examine the code behind the detail triggers of the buttons to see which properties are going to be used. Let's look at the left button first. Now, Dollar Painted Field Properties accepts as parameters the field name and the occurrence number where the field instance of interest occurs. In our case, the occurrence number is always going to be 1 because we only have one occurrence painted. However, if we have multiple occurrences painted, it is important to specify exactly which occurrence holds the field widget instance which positioning we are trying to change. To move the field to the left, we are going to use the X position property and we are going to decrease it by one or by more if we want to move the field in bigger increments. The same way if we want to move it to the right, we are going to increase the X position by one or by more. To move it up, we are going to decrease the Y position and to move it down we are going to increase the Y position. To get the absolute positioning of the field in terms of X and Y position first we are going to extract the dollar painted field properties into a variable and then from the list we are going to get the X and the Y position. To set the X and Y position, we are going to use the painted field properties and in a similar way we are going to set the X and Y position to discrete values. To set the size of a field, we are going to use the X size property 
and it's going to be either a discrete value or we are going to increase it or decrease it by one or by more depending on our wishes. To set the Z order we are going to use the Z order property and the acceptable values for it are top or bottom. We are going to use the radio button to get those values. If we set it to top then the field is going to be above other fields if it encounters them when it's being moved and if we select bottom it is going to go below them. Let's see how that works in practice. Now let's test the form. So let's move the field a little bit to the right, maybe down up or left. We can get its XY position. It's currently 2510. We can set it. Let's say to position 00, zero which is the top left corner. Let's bring it back. We can set the field size, know, for example, 59. We can bring it down to 30. Or we can increase it by 1, as we call it, or decrease it by 1. Now let's see what's going to happen when we change the Z order. Let's say that we want the Z order to be top. Now if we move the field down, as it moves down, it is going to go above all the fields that it encounters. Let's see. If we set the Z order to be bottom, it is going to go below all the fields as it encounters them. So that's what the Z order does. And that's basically it. Now if you want to read more about dynamic field positioning and dollar painted field properties, you can do it by accessing the online help by pressing F1 in your development environment or alternatively you can visit the Uniface library at Computer's Frontline.